Hey squad, Sykes here and thank you for taking the time to click on this video. If you enjoy what you see then please make sure you leave a like, head over to Installation X and subscribe and hit that bell for more Sea of Thieves content. So the newest event for Sea of Thieves, Grogmane, is now live for you to complete and it involves a chest of rage, ash and wind skulls and a whole lot of fire and explosions. There are six goals to complete and in this video I will break down how to complete each goal as quickly as possible. Hot property. You and your crew must turn in three chests of rage to the gold hoarders. So the easiest way of getting your hands on a chest of rage is to complete the powder and arms voyages from Lorina outside the tavern. Tip is you can only hold one of each of the voyages for each of the areas at any one time. So if you are in a larger crew you can grab one of each for free and complete three voyages in the same area without having to head back to an outpost. If you are solo slooping, then put a voyage down and then head back to Lorina to get a replacement so you can put a second voyage down for the same area without having to head back to Lorina and saving some time. Now importantly when doing a powder and arms voyage you have to complete all three islands to get to the final chapter and get the final island map which will reward you with a chest of rage. You can speed run these pretty quickly as they are all X marks a spot maps on mainly smaller islands and if you aren't bothered about gifts or gunpowder kegs you can leave them behind. Remember that once the chest of rage is on board you need to cool it down with water so that it doesn't blow up and set your ship on fire. Complete three powder and arms voyages for three chests of rage and make sure you hand them in to the gold hoarders. Skull Lang Syne. Set a skeleton ship ablaze using fire from an ashen wind skull. You only need to do this once. This one can be tricky as you need to 1. Find a skelly ship, 2. Get close enough to set it on fire, or 3. You or your crewmate may need to board a skelly ship with an ashen wind skull to set the ship ablaze. I managed to do this one solo slooping by just ramming my ship into a skelly sloop, jumping on board and setting everything in front of me ablaze. Easier to complete if you're on a larger ship in a crew, just get one of your crewmates to board the skelly ship and let rip until part of the boat is physically on fire for it to count. You can get your hands on an Ashen Wind skull either from an Ashen Winds world event or through the powder and arms voyages, more on that in a minute. Celebratory Toast Set 10 skeletons alight using fire from the Ashen Wind skull. Once you've got an Ashen Wind skull, you then need to use it against 10 skellies. This is pretty straightforward. With your controller, press LT to aim and RT to use the fire from the Ashen Wind Skull, or use your mouse to aim and fire if you're on PC. The Ashen Wind Skull is so powerful that it will one hit normal skeletons, killing them instantly and quickly. A gunpowder plot Kill three bone skeletons at the same time by shooting a gunpowder skeleton. This one is probably the most time consuming as it depends on whether you get a gunpowder skeleton spawn on you or on the island that you are searching on. Remember, you have to kill three or more skellies by shooting the gunpowder barrel of a gunpowder skeleton and not by using a different gunpowder barrel. Once you have a gunpowder skelly spawn, you may have to do some manoeuvring to make sure you have other skellies in range so that when you shoot the gunpowder barrel, all the skeletons are killed at the same time. Make sure you aren't too close as it will kill you as well. Never brought to mind, you and your crew must turn in Ashen Wind Skulls to the Order of Souls and you need to do this three times. This goal can be achieved exactly the same way as the Chest of Rage goal. If you complete a Powder and Arms Voyage you are guaranteed to get an Ashen Wind Skull from the final island. Important to note is that it doesn't specify whether the skull has to be sold used or not, which means you can use the Ashen Wind Skull for the previous challenges and then hand it in once you have used it up for what you need. Important to remember is that the skull needs to be sold to the Order of Souls for it to count. And finally, fireworks. Set 20 skeletons on fire, helping them get into the mischievous Grogmane spirit. The final goal for this challenge is to set 20 skeletons on fire. An easy way of doing this is to set any type of skeletons on fire using fire bombs. The only thing to mention, however, is that when I set multiple skeletons on fire at the same time with fire bombs, it was only registering as one for the event. So I would make sure you have plenty of fire bombs, which you can get from firebomb crates from completing powder and arms voyages and hit skellies one at a time to be on the safe side. Completing two goals will unlock the Order of Souls bucket, four goals unlocks the Frostbite cannons and six goals will unlock the Paradise Garden cannon flare. Well squad, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please make sure you leave a like, head over to Installation X and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications of future uploads. Let me know your thoughts on the Grogmane event in the comment section. 
Follow myself and the channel on social media with links in the description. And as always, I'm Sykes, and for more on Sea of Thieves and all things Xbox, stay tuned to Installation X. Bye guys.